hello there beautiful people welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking on another video in today's video as you can probably tell by the title i'm going back to the gym for the first time in like six months since lockdown began um so at the start of lockdown i was working out lots at home and then i stopped for a few months and just fell off and gained six kilograms and i've been back on it for a couple of months so it's been a bit of a bit of a whirlwind for me and my bod over the last six months um as it has for most people but i've been getting into a routine a really good workout plan that I wrote, a home-based healthy body plan that I wrote um, that will soon be available to all of you, very exciting. And I just decided to get back to the gym today to just see where I'm at, see how strong I am, see how much I can lift, as you know, or you may or may not know. Um, I love squatting, I love deadlifting, I love lifting weights. Um, so I thought I would just get back in and do like a one rep max test. I feel strong, I'm not sure if I feel like I'm gonna do, you know, my PBs of 160 kg squat and deadlift. I mean, the fact that my squat and deadlift PB are the same shows that there is room for improvement on the deadlift pb but we're not going to go into that i think that i'm probably more confident on the deadlift side of things than the squat side of things everything looks so different i haven't been here in so long um but yeah i thought i would take you along and show you how i get on i'm just going to do a warm-up do some weights um just mess around and just enjoy this i do have my mask with me I've got to be safe and i'm very grateful to have the opportunity to go to the gym in a mask so yeah we'll see how this goes the gyms have been open for ages now i just haven't been back because i was so into my home routine that i was like i don't really see the need right now but then you know uh the numbers of cases are rising i have a sneaking suspicion that we might be going into another lockdown who knows you never know um so i figured i would make the most of it while it's still open so yeah without further ado let's go to the gym oh hey there voiceover saz popping in to talk you through this workout starting off with a warm-up warm-ups are always key they're key for home workouts too but um yeah just showing you what i do so always start with some kind of steady state cardio um, and nice and easy then dynamic stretches i like doing dynamic stretches rather than static stretches and um, when it comes to the warm-up to increase range of motion get the blood flowing and some activation exercises so so key you don't want to like overdo it because then it just becomes a workout but you do want to let your muscles practice doing what they're about to do <laughs> so that they're you know a bit they're ready for it they're ready for it um, then I grab the bar and do a bit of squatting um, so I did some back squats and some front squats um, and then I added some weight starting with 70 kilograms a comfortable weight for me my go-to 25 on each side with a 20 kg bar I was still just doing the one rep though because you know I didn't want to tire myself out it was only six months but it felt like it had been forever like I don't know I feel like you forget what it feels like next up 100 decent not too bad not too bad i'm kind of low-key analyzing this video as i <laughs> do the voiceover so forgive my critiques um pop to five on each side to make 110 i remember being like cautious because i was like i don't want to go full depth because I've got no one spotting me and I didn't I wasn't keen to have to throw any weight off my back um, so I was trying to get just enough depth to make the squats illegal and count but also didn't want to do too much um, swapped the fives for some tens up to 120 looking too bad to be honest um i think it was more in my head just being a bit shaky and nervous rather than having yeah I'd, looking back at i think i probably should have been a bit more confident but either way went for the 130 yeah you can you can see i'm hesitating there i was a bit like how much further should I go? Am I going to be able to get back up? Um, and as you can see, I was not pleased with that squat. So I did it again just to just to make sure it counted. Um, and 
And at that point I was just done. I think I was tired of squatting. I, I wasn't confident I was gonna get that any more stable. Um, so we left it there with the squats, 130 kilograms. Not too bad, not too bad. Just 30 kg <laughs> off my PB, but moved on to the deadlifts, which I was feeling more confident for anyway, just because I feel like they're much more, well, they're both compound movements, but I feel more stable in the deadlift position. I often feel like I have more control. Loading it up, starting with 70 kg on the deadlifts. nice and smooth nice and easy and um, so yeah i was really focusing on trying to keep some good form so weight through my heels and um, keeping that good neutral spine position keeping it nice and strong you don't want your back to be like hunching as you're dragging the weight up um chalk super important like genuinely can be the difference between making a lift and not making it especially as I don't use um, straps or a belt at the moment um, I do do an under over grip which um, definitely helps me to like keep hold of the bar um, but yeah up to the weight and went for my next attempt I just failed <laughs> could not get it could not get it but was determined and tried again <laughs> closer but I felt I felt like I was losing form so I let it go and it was at this point that I realized that instead of adding 20 kg from the 120 to make 140 i'd actually added 20 kilograms to each side making 160 so i was just attempting my heaviest ever deadlift so yeah i definitely am not at the strongest i've ever been because it just felt impossible you know and you're like oh if i give it a few more goes if i you know have a jelly baby i'll be able to do it no like i could not lift that it was really heavy um but yeah that was not the plan i did not plan to try 160 so my bad but how great is it that's why i like deadlifts when you fail them it's actually like not that deep um but yeah i went for the 140 which is what i meant to go for in the first place it was moving nice and smooth smooth like Lindor. i mean there was a little bit of over hyperextension at the top but we'll we'll, we'll gloss over that um now i did a few reps of 120 just to just to feel just to feel what it felt like doing reps and and to solidify the session um, but overall i i thought that was great it felt really good um the weight was moving nicely and yeah, it's good to be back. 2020 style, of course. <laughs> well, hello, I'm back from the gym now, just pulled into the driveway and I am so tired. My body feels so tired. I think it went well. I think with the squatting, I think I could have gone higher. It's just, I didn't have anyone there to spot me. Um, and I didn't want to ask anyone because you know, COVID. You know, while I know how to break and fail a squat, it is quite intimidating to do without support um, on such high weight. And especially as I haven't done it with weight on my back for so long. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. I wasn't expecting to... Well, I was expecting. I was expecting to maintain my strength during lockdown. But given that I had the period where I just wasn't working out and gained a lot of weight, I wasn't expecting to be able to lift as much as I did. But one thing I did find is that I just felt exhausted. I think it's the neural exhaustion of giving everything in one movement that is just tiring. I wasn't out of breath, but I was just exhausted. And I don't know how else to, to describe it. Um, I did have a whole session planned after the lifting. So I did the warm up, dynamic stretches, squats, deadlifts, uh, and then I went on the rings and I did some like pull work, some ab work, I did some bench ab work. I didn't film these bits, sorry, I'll film them next time. I just didn't want this video to be forever. Um, and I also did uh, some sprints on the on the machine. Um, 
on the sprints machine and those were good the sprints were good but again i was just exhausted so i think i think i really enjoyed being back oh i'm just so tired meow meow so tired. Do you know what I haven't missed though? I haven't missed the chapped, broken, painful hands. Can you see that? They're just so red and raw. I didn't cut the skin though, so that's good. <sighs> She's so cute. I really like having a cat. <sighs> right, I'm gonna make some dinner. I will see you guys in my next video, vlog, whatever this is. Love you so much. Love you so much. Bye.